Brad, I came to check out Poker Go Kart. I haven't, I haven't ridden a go kart in years. Uh, it's right, it's right, almost right on the lake. Should be fun. They look like pretty decent go karts. I think it's the only one in town. It only takes about 10 minutes to get here from the middle of the lakeside, so it was really nice. There's all the paragliders going on and all that kind of stuff, so. <laughs> This one is for 15 minutes. Mm. Uh, this is 10 minute ticket. And this is 30 minutes. That'll be fun. I haven't ridden a go kart forever. Oh, there's a paraglider. Oh, there's one right there. Yeah, see, look how squirrely that one is. Look at that. I forgot to bring my GoPro mount for my helmet. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to steer with my right hand and film with my left hand. So we'll see how, how that goes. They're going opposite directions now. <laughs> oh no, oh, oh no, you go around that way. Okay, so you go that way, you go around. I see. Right? Accelerate. Break. Okay. Little thing. Okay. No problem. Okay. Ready? Thank you. Go-karts were fun. I, was, I mean, you're not gonna find anything high-tech in poker, obviously, but it's, so it's not as fast as back home, but, but it was really fun, I had a good time. Make sure you uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, yep, it's raining like always. Huh? <laughs> Hi. I don't know what he wanted, <laughs> but it's raining like it usually has been in poker so far lately. It's the last two times I've been here. Not a big fan of so much rain, but whatever. I saw these grill places uh, yesterday when I was walking up on the main road from the lake. And they don't, it, you know, they're sequa centers, but they don't start, they don't start serving it until like after four o'clock. So I'm gonna go down there and see what I can find. I, f I looked at one of them that I saw down there, and uh, it had it had some reviews, and I, you know, it looked pretty good. I know I'm hungry. I had, I had actually I haven't eaten yet today. I had the sushi yesterday and the go-karts and stuff like that. The sushi was good. It's still not quite the same as, you know, back in a lot of sushi places, but it was cool. So I'm gonna go down there and see what they got. I love sequa. They got fish that look like they had shrimp and all kinds of stuff, so. Yeah, so I'm, I'm on that main road that I was telling you about walking down. Looks like the rain's about to clear. The sun is going down. It's actually pretty decent right now. I got to get rid of my umbrella. So I hope this place, oh, they see they all do it here. There's tons of it. 
There's fruits and all kinds of stuff, but it's, it's weird. It's like only on this road, mainly. And there's some down by the lake, too. It's kind of weird. And they all start putting out the meats and everything. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully this should turn out pretty good, I, I think. Uh, it's this place. We'll walk down by the lake for a minute and then come back. <laughs> yeah, you can see like all the different places serving meats, doing meats. Awesome. <laughs> that looks awesome. I'm gonna go check out this food, maybe have a beer. I shouldn't be drinking any more beer, but <laughs> beer and grilled foods are always good together. Uh, this, the place I'm going to is called Pua Fish Restaurant, uh, named after the lake. It's the only one I could find in this little street that had um, that had some reviews, so it makes me feel like maybe I'll be okay. <laughs> Drop the tongs on the floor. <laughs> I hope they washed them. That's what happens when you're drinking beer. <laughs> Have to re record it again. But yeah, the little fish were really good. They were really crispy. They were fried. I really liked them a lot. So uh, they were almost kind of burnt, which I also like that. And so I've got the big fish coming. I've got the chicken seco coming. And I think I might order the pork seco just so I can compare it to what I've eaten back in the fall. Gosh, I bet it's really good here. So we'll see how it is and then we'll uh, see how we wake up tomorrow on the field. really super moist but it is really good <clears throat> yeah more of that's now really kind of juicy that is really really good I'm really happy I came here yeah, I like that a lot last thing coming is the is the big fish so we'll see it yeah so it was good <clears throat> but there's too many bones for me I just can't. I mean, I like tasting it. It was really good. I like, I like the experience, but it was just too many balls. But it was good. We'll definitely come back for the small fish. Maybe some more stuff like that. I think I'll go have some noodles to like make sure all those bones get worked out. Uh, I did have Thai food uh, yesterday, but I didn't eat Thai, which I should have. So I think I'll eat that today. I got one more day here at Boca, and I'll see what trouble I get in tomorrow. Side. I had to walk down to the lake and then around and come up, come up the backside of the lake. But it's really nice. It's really, it's it's really nice upstairs. I'm upstairs on the second floor. Downstairs is more outside. Uh, they have all kinds of Indian food, tandoori chicken. Uh, they have Nepali food. They have Takali sets. But it's really nice. It's really kind of a nice setting. It's relaxed. It's nice and cool in here. It served me some popcorn to begin with. I ordered the um, paneer butter masala, a half tandoori chicken, and green salad, and a peanut sabeco. Cynical. <laughs> I never say that right, probably. But yeah, I really like it here so far. It's pretty cool. He said he's going to bring me some spices. He was very careful to tell me that, that uh, all their water is filtered. And on the menu, it tells you too, the water's filtered. Uh, for ice cubes, they wash all their vegetables in filtered water and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it should be good. Mm. That's good. They like to do a lot of spicy stuff here. Special paneer. And half chicken tandoori. I will make your fears for you. Okay. Mm. 
pizza into your food. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. See, that looks that looks really good. Really, now nah, looks really good. Uh, that's the paneer, butter paneer, tandoori chicken half. Hopefully, it's moist. Still eating the peanut. I'm gonna chow down, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Maybe. People are starting to stare. Yeah, that food came out really fast. You know, a lot of the Nepali restaurants you order in, it takes forever to make tandoori chicken. That's pretty fast. That's, and the food is tasting really good. This is the this is the butter paneer. And it's really, really good flavor. I like it. It's a little bit sweet. You can taste that smoky flavor. It's really good. The even uh, pollock paneer is also really, really good. Like a creamy spinach. <laughs> and everyone knows I love tandoori chicken <laughs> with the red sauce or green sauce. And the service is also really friendly, really fast, and it's amazing. Really good. Pretty much all foreigners eating here. The tandoori chicken half was a little pricey. It was 700 rupees. It's, uh, it's usually around five, five fifty. But it's a really nice ambiance, uh, and the food was the food was really good. I mean, I, I really enjoyed myself here, especially being by myself and eating. Uh, this is my last meal in Pokhara. I know you stopped it. Oh, and how long have you owned it? Uh, eight years. Eight years. Yeah. Oh yeah, I found it on Google. It has really good reviews. Right. So. The food was really good. It's really nice atmosphere and stuff too. And you can also put your feedback on uh, on TripAdvisor or Google. Which would you like? Yeah. Oh. Anything. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. I for sure will. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was very good. And what's your name? My name is Sachin, sir. Oh, now are you manager, owner? No, no, no. My uncle is the one. Uncle. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uncle, okay. Namaste. Uh, namaste. It's very nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. Oh. Thanks, guys. Thank you, and have a great evening. Oh, thank you, you as thank well. You thank you for the food. Thank you. Yeah, this place is really good. I was really happy that I came and ate here. Uh, also, motorcycle lovers. That's what he was saying, that he's got a Royal Enfield, too. And those guys were super nice. They have really great customer service. So if you're in Pokhara, make sure that you stop by and eat here. It's, a little, it's right by the lake. You can't miss it. They've got a big sign saying which way. Uh, really happy I came here, really happy I ate here. And um, I mean, the service is really good. Cause I, if you've been in, if you've traveled around to Paul at all, you'll know that customer service is not always the, <laughs> their number one priority, but these guys do it really well. It's a, uh, the guy owns it, his nephew works here and, and just, it's, it was really fun. I'm really happy. Uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you later.